I bought this astronaut projector thing off the TikTok shop for about £10. It's supposed to project a kind of star space effect on your ceiling. It comes with a remote included for controlling it, but I was curious whether with an Arduino I could get this to be powered by the web. Long story short, it worked, so I'm going to show you the basics of how I got it working, and also the code is going to be in the description below if you want to try this yourself. This is the infrared remote that came included with the projector. You can see the black LED looking component is the IR emitter at the top. When you press a button on the remote, the IR emitter sends out bursts of infrared light in a pattern that the device reads as a command. The device, in this case the astronaut projector, has a receiver that can see the infrared light. Most devices convert these signal waves into hexadecimal codes using specific encoding and modulation techniques. For example, the on-off button on the remote converts into this code. You can purchase infrared controllers for as low as £5 to read and send these signals. For example, this one that pairs up with an Arduino D1 Mini. This means that we can read all of the unique codes coming from the remote and then replicate them using the IR controller. When we have this code, we can write a script to send it whenever we want. As this Arduino supports Wi-Fi, we can program it to host a simple HTML website with buttons that trigger these codes to be sent out. Most projects like this one often require some kind of PCB, so I've partnered up with PCBWay to get you a great deal on any PCBs you might need manufacturing for your own projects. That's right, with their quick order services all you have to do is upload the Gerbers for any PCB board and they'll get them shipped to you quickly and affordably. I've used them for all of my hardware projects so far and the quality is fantastic, as is their service. They also offer board assembly, 3D printing and CNC making them a one stop shop for all of your prototyping and manufacturing needs. Go check them out at PCBWay.com Next I'm going to explain how the code works to make all this happen. The first thing the code does is include the libraries, which are basically packages of code to help our specific device do things. Next the code needs to tell the device which IR code does what thing. So in this part it lists all of the codes and then adds labels for each of the buttons depending on what the code does, such as brightness up or down. Next we use the ESP8266 web server library to, well, make a web server. You can see here the Wi-Fi SSID and password as well as the IP address gateways, subnets and static IPs are being defined. The next part is something we call request handlers. This is creating different functions that handle different kinds of requests our device might receive. For example, when someone clicks a button on a web page. The next part is setup function, which is basically preparing everything the device needs to start working. This includes connecting to a Wi-Fi device, configuring the device networks, setting up the tools for sending the IR signals and running the web server. Now down at the bottom we have a loop function. This is constantly checking if there are any requests coming in that we need to handle. In simple terms, the code helps our ESP8266 connect to the internet, run a website, and send commands to control devices, such as the astronaut projector. Alright, that's it for the code. I'm interested to hear what other people think about this. Um, and, you know, this definitely isn't limited to the astronaut projector either. Stuff like TV remotes, you know, a lot of home automation devices require IR remotes, so... This is definitely something that can be automated, especially if I were to add a component such as an MQTT server. There's a lot of potential here to control these IR devices with other physical buttons or mobile apps. So let me know in the comments what things you could control with this. And if you'd like to give it a go, I'm going to leave some more details in the description on the parts, the software, and just the basics. Um, and feel free to ask me any questions in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. That's it for our little short video today. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.